Now you said something about um, not being able to print white with sublimation. Yes. So explain the um, science behind that. Why is it that you cannot print white ink with sublimation printers? Well, let's start with what, how sublimation works just real quick. Sure. We're, in most cases, we're using a four color printer. Okay. And that printer has four base colors, cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. Okay. The reality is we're mixing three of those colors to create other colors, cyan, yellow, magenta. Okay. okay? If you combine those together 100%, you get the color black. Okay. The absence of color in CMYK is white, right. meaning nothing, right? right? But there is no combination of cyan, yellow, and magenta that equal white. So we can't tell the printer to print white because it physically couldn't do it. Okay. Now if you look at something like direct-to-garment printing, they're using a CMYK printer as well, but they'll have an extra channel of pre-manufactured ink mm -hmm. that's called, wait for it, white ink. <laughs> Okay? Very technical <laughs> ink, but a very basic name, right? right? And they're able to send a signal to that printer to say, print white ink out of that cartridge in this area. Okay. So they'll put down that layer of white when they need it. They're able to put a layer of white down. In the case of DTG, they use some chemical catalysts to help that cure um, quickly, mm -hmm. such that we put colored ink on top. Okay. Uh, with screen printers, they do it with a flash cure. Right. Okay. If I was to try and put down some type of white ink for sublimation, it's going to block my sublimation from penetrating the fibers of the polyester. Because sublimation, being a dye, we're recoloring from the inside out on the fibers. It has to physically penetrate the fibers to be able to embed itself because sublimation is truly molecular. Right. It's bonding with, at a molecular level, the fibers of the polyester. Sure. White ink would be in the way. So we don't have a white ink capability at this time for sublimation. Therefore, we can't print the color white um, with anything that we're doing. Now, in the case of the hard items, mm -hmm. okay, the awards, the um, plaques, those type of things, when you buy them, they're already manufactured in the color white. Right. So what we do is if we need white lettering or we need a white soccer ball or something like that, in our artwork, those areas that need to be white are left open, meaning there's no color assigned to them. And when we sublimate onto a white background, all those areas that are no color is now the color of the background. 